Hi, Bob Stewart here is Old Guy Geek. Hey, Windows 10 has been out for a little while, and uh, maybe you're feeling that you need to upgrade your system. Maybe it's getting a little, maybe there's even though Windows 7 that you upgraded to Windows 10, it ran really well with the new version installed and all that. But you really want to go ahead and upgrade your system. And I don't mean just adding a new video card or any more memory or larger hard drives. You want to get a new motherboard and processor. That's great, except you need to understand what kind of Windows licensing you have. Because some licenses can be transferred to from one set of hardware to another, and some can't. Now, if you have what's called an OEM license, which is an original equipment manufacturer, that means it's once it's installed on a piece of equipment, or, you know, a certain combination of motherboard and processor, it's tied to that, and it cannot be moved to a new system. And that's why it's a cheaper price than the retail version. And most of the people who bought already pre-built systems, like a tablet or a laptop, uh, they got an OEM version because the manufacturer paid a lesser price to Microsoft for that. And that because Microsoft knows that that was only have a limited lifetime. And once that piece of hardware is retired, the license is done. Uh, conversely, you might have had Windows 7 with an OEM, but you bought a retail upgrade. Okay, you paid more money for it to get a retail, and that can be moved to a new system. But let's say you're not really sure and you're ready to buy your system and you're putting together uh, your price list and you want to know uh, how much you're going to be spending and you don't want to get to the point where you have it all done, all, already assembled and all that and Windows won't let you activate it on that new hardware because it detected new hardware. Well, we're going to go ahead and show you uh, how you can use a simple command to go in your system and, det and determine if you have a retail or if you have an OEM version of software and uh, what to do then. So uh, let's go take a look. So Windows has a licensing manager. and You can access that uh, by going over here, right-clicking, and use the PowerShell, or if you have control panel here, go to the admin version, which gives you administrative uh, privileges, and up will become the uh, interface for that. We're going to type in an SL manager here just to see the all the different kinds of commands that you can do it, uh, that you can give it. And you'll see here there's pages after pages of uh, it tells me it's invalid, and then it gives me suggestions. And it'll give me pages upon pages of different things you can do. you got to be careful. You can uninstall your product, replace your product ID, all these different things. You need your account and your password for this if uh, it's not you're not already uh, logged in with a proper account. Um, but since you're logged in as admin, you're fine. So you can activate Windows. You can do all that. But for this purpose of this video, we're only going to talk about how to identify what version you have. So I'm going to click through all these different uh, uh, things that you can do here real quick. Uh, we're not going to go through every command. So if we go down here to OK uh, and uh, give me a couple screens here. Get through that, get through that, and get through that, and that. So let's type in the command SL Manager, OK, and space, dash DLI. And you'll see it in a second. It tells me I have a professional edition and it's a retail channel in other words it's exactly uh, what I need I can reinstall this on hardware anytime I like now I did say I was going to skip uh, some of the stuff or the other commands that are available but there's one command I want you guys to take a look at let's look at uh, first of all XPR and what that tells you is that whether it's permanently activated it's tied to the account that I'm logged into it knows that this ID is tied to my personal uh, a Microsoft account so it's permanently activated uh, then let's say you're on a machine that you're going to get rid of and you need to get rid of the, take that license off because you're going to sell that machine and you want to use that retail license somewhere else and someone else is going to have to buy it uh, so let's just look here for a second go to the second screen here you'll see that there's clearing the product uh, that's not it installing license that's for the next person to reinstall none of that stuff here reset all that stuff here but right down here, where it says install, uninstall product key, that's the command you need to do in order to remove that retail license from the machine that you're getting rid of, especially if it's in one piece and you're reselling the hardware. Otherwise, they have they could possibly have your uh, use your license at least temporarily. So you have to use other commands. Okay. Now you can use the slash cpk command in order to uh, clear it from the registry, uh, but there's a better command to use than that.
If you use the slash UPK parameter, it uninstalls it successfully. So that's the one you want to use when you want to sell the machine, but you don't want to sell the license. So the big takeaways here are to find out what you have licensed, uh, and if it's retail, clear that from the old machine before you sell your old machine.